Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you um, my week bi-weekly melted box um, for the first half of September. So from the 1st to the 15th. Um, I'm behind the camera today. Um, I'm still in my jammies doing some house cleaning. My daughter's home from school because it's Yom Kippur, I think. I don't know if he's pronounced that correctly or not. Or if I did. Um, so, we're going to put up our fall decorations and kind of hang out. So, I wanted to get this done as early as possible. Um, yeah, so let me get started. I melted some cherry pie from my Mainstays candles that I chunked up. This is a very nice cherry scent cherry bakery scent um, I really enjoy it it's um, like I said it was from one of the 11 ounce candles you know the little tapered ones not tapered you know it has like that rim around it I don't know um, I chunked it up a while ago I only got like maybe an ounce an ounce and a half left to melt so I'll probably finish that up in the next couple weeks um, like I said, I really enjoy that scent. It's a very nice cher cherry bakery. I've never had the Bath and Body Works sweet cherry pie to compare it to. But, um, on the scent appeal, I would give it a 3 out of 5. And the throw, I would give it a 4 out of 5. Um, like I said, it's very enjoyable to me. I would repurchase that, that scent, um... I believe I already do have some in the clamshells, and I would purchase the candle to chunk up again. Here is Southbound Candle Co. Lavender Laundry. Um, so if you want to read the scent notes, this was fresh longy, longy, <laughs> fresh laundry hanging out to dry in a lavender field. I, I apologize about my lighting too, it's not a very sunny day. Um, and, you know, I'm just trying to go off the natural light coming into my room from the windows. Anywho, um, oh, so let me pick this up. Let me talk about this. So, in theory, I think this would be a very beautiful scent. However, this laundry, um, I don't know. It's, this smells like fabuloso like pure fabuloso the lavender one which is a nice scent when you're mopping your floors but a little too astringent for me to just throw in all my warmers and give it a go so it's very clean but very astringent the lavender is that I don't even want to say it's an herbal lavender. It's just like if you've ever smelled the lavender fabuloso, it's the purple bottle. Um, that's what it smells like. And so I will finish melting this because the appeal of the scent to me, depending on if it's a cleaning day or not, I would give it a two. Um, the throw is a five out of five. Um, however, I would not repurchase that. Too strong for me. It gives me a headache. It makes my nose hurt. Next, I have Pink Sugar Berry. This is uh, one of the 13 ounce canceled. Can canceled. Why can't I speak today? Candles. I melted this down into my little gummy bears. Um, this was beautiful, and I'm actually finding... It's getting stronger as it sits in the bakery bag. I don't know if that's supposed to happen with, like, you know, when you chunk up your candles or whatnot. But that's happening. Um, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know Pink Sugarberry is my jam. The upset appeal to me is a 5 out of 5. The throw was about a 3.5 to 4 out of 5. From Old Primitive Treasures, Pink Candy Magic. This is one that I like to 
and joy at nighttime, cotton candy, pink chiffon type, and baby magic type. It's a beautiful, sweet, girly, relaxing nighttime scent for the bedroom. Um, the scent appeal for me is a 4 out of 5, and the throw is a 5. No, I'm sorry. The throw is a 4 out of 5. I would repurchase that. I, I haven't seen anything posted on her page in a while, and I haven't actually physically went to her page, but I think she is closed now. Um, I believe she was moving to Germany to go spend, um, go take care of her mother, um, cause she was not doing very well. So this is another candle I melted down from Mainstays in Fresh Cotton. Um, the scent appeal is nice. I, I like it. It's very clean. Like a clean cotton type scent however the throw is a two out of five so that I would not repurchase I would maybe try the wax melts in the clamshell because oftentimes those do better than the candle <laughs> this bag is so like beat up this is Lavender Chamomile from Candu Candles. The absolute best Lavender Chamomile scent I have ever melted. The scent appeal to me is a 5 out of 5. And the throw is a 4.5 out of 5. If I could purchase that, I would. But Candu Candles is no longer open either. So I finally finished this bag of Purple Sands, um, another candle I melted down. The scent appeal to me was a two. Oops, sorry, I have my fan on it. This is, it's trying to blow everything. The scent appeal was a two. I just, I really got a mostly play doh -y type scent with something else kind of sweet in the background. I'm not sure what the scent description is. For purple sands, but I just I really smelt mostly that waxy play doh type scent, and um, I didn't particularly enjoy it. Thank God the throw was only about a two point five out of five, and I would not purchase that again. Obviously, I probably said that already, right? Okay. From She Loves Cake, I melted some sugar butt, which is vanilla, waffle cone, strawberry jam, mallow, and cotton candy. This smells so good. Oh, I really get that um, the vanilla waffle cone and the marshmallow up front. And then you get some of that sweet the strawberry type scent. I really enjoy it for its bakery notes coming before the sweet it's really good and i love those shapes so the scent appeal to me is a three out of five and the throw is about a three out of five average i believe she loves cake is no longer selling wax after her last I think this latest pre-order, I'm not sure, I haven't really followed the page too much because um, she was supposed to be closing a while ago, I think about two pre-orders ago, but I believe she just she continued for a couple more, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, um, a three and a three, I would give that. Do you guys, I don't know, do you guys prefer me giving each scent um, a rating um, or just kind of talk what I think about it? Uh, let me know in the comments so I can kind of adjust my style to what you guys want. I am trying to go more into depth um, technically with a number rating only because um, in order to give it a review per se... I, I feel like I should give you some 
type of information other than my opinion. I mean, in retrospect, all of it is my opinion, but I, I think you know what I'm trying to say, right? I don't know. If I don't make any sense, just let me know and I'll try to find another way to explain it. All right. So that's all the bakery bags and the big bags. So I finished this clam of vanilla cookie crunch and from Better Homes and Gardens. I really love this scent. And I will continue to buy it until I can no longer ever find it again because it's just that enjoyable to me. I give that one a 5 out of 5 on scent appeal. I love the vanilla gourmand type scent. It's just so... I don't know. I don't get cookie necessarily from it. I get something more... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just very yummy. And the scent throw on that, I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. I have a Sensationals in Coconut Vacay. This was a very nice coconutty scent, but not... Not like your edible coconutty scent. This is like a coconut suntan lotion type scent. It was very perfumey, but I liked it. Um, maybe that's why it says soak up the sun, because you've got your coconut sunscreen on. Scent appealed for that one is a... Um, I'd give that one a 3.5 out of 5 in the throw. It was a 4 out of 5. Alright, let me, I guess I can. I'm trying to pull out all the retail ones before I get into the vendor wax. Okay. So, also from Sensationals, I melted some of this Nutty Butter Cookie Bars. It smells like like Reese's peanut butter cups to me or like those little Debbie um oh gosh what are they called nutty buddies or nutter bars or whatever it's mostly peanut butter and then you get the chocolate um which was really nice I loved it at first but once that some of the peanut butter scent burns off you get more chocolatey and that's where I have to kind of turn it off. So the scent appeal on this one to me would be a 3 out of 5. The throw was a, a, a good 4 out of 5. But I, I don't think I would repurchase this one. Only because I'm just, I'm not crazy about chocolatey type scents. I melted some of this blueberry bundt cake from Better Homes and Gardens. This is one of the most authentic blueberry bakery type scents that I've smelled. It's not overly sweet. I never got any type of sweetness from eating an actual blueberry. And that's translated into this scent. You really do get that bakery note from the um, the bundt cake. And then you get the, the, the sweetness of the sugar crystals or the crumble on top. Um, it's a really nice scent, and I, I will be melting more of this over the fall. <laughs> Again, let me, I'm trying to keep it going with the ratings. Okay, so let me know, and I'll get better at this. So, for the scent appeal to me, I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. I did like it. There's just some blueberries that I like more. Um, the scent throw, I would also give a 3.5 out of 5. It threw pretty well, and it traveled, but it wasn't overbearingly strong, if you know what I mean. Um, and I just, I didn't get any type of warmth from this that I would expect from a bakery. So, um, I really liked it. I may or may not repurchase this in the future. If I were to see it, this was actually a gift from Rebecca um, at Ophelia Melts. She sent this to me out of the goodness of her heart, and I love her so much for it. Because um, 
for some reason, the Walmarts near me didn't have this scent. All right. Oh, yay, yay, yay. And the last uh, clam from Better Homes and Gardens I have is Candied Caramel Pecan. I really, really love this scent. It's caramely, it's nutty, and it does have like a cinnamon spice to it, that bakery cinnamon, but I enjoy it um, more so than other Red Hot Cinnamons. This is um, one of mine from last year, I believe, or oh, I got it in January of this year, excuse me. So, this on the scent appeal for me, I would give it a 4 out of 5. And the throw was a 5 out of 5. Um, this was a very strong thrower in my home. And I I even had the candle in this one last year. I'm sorry, I keep smelling it. I love that nutty scent. I had the candle in that. The Better Homes and Gardens candles. And, I'm sorry, their throw is shit. Their burn is shit, to me, at least. And the candle was amazing. So that's, that says something about that scent. Uh, oops, I lied. This is the last Better Homes and Gardens um, from the Aromatherapy line. This is the Lavender Vanilla. I really, really, really love this scent, and I'm so happy that I can get this for two dollars and it's readily available i love this um as much as i love the candu candles lavender chamomile it's just a beautiful oh it reminds me of a baby oh gosh i love baby smell and this is this gives it to me um I melt this at bedtime in my room primarily, or sometimes when I'm babysitting, I find it's relaxing to the baby, you know, especially around nap time. <laughs> it helps her sleep. So the scent appeal to me is five out of five. That sweet lavender is just amazing. And the throw is um, about a 3.5 to a four out of five. I have a Jackal from Super Tarts, which is, I'm sorry, I'm like, my hands shake so much when I'm standing. Blackberry Preserved Zucchini Bread and Toasted Mallow. This is really, really good. Um, perfect for the transition to fall. That zucchini bread is amazing. It's a nice, creamy zucchini bread, maybe because of the toasted mallow and the blackberry preserves are nice it's sweet it's also tart and juicy and amazing five out of five scent appeal for me mm. and the scent throw was a, a four out of five four point five out of five i'm sorry we have a thanos from super tart which is herbal lavender buds and whipped cream um twilight dupe i'm not sure um what twilight that is if it's a lush dupe or something else maybe it's a nice scent um i just herbal lavenders aren't my jam i'm not as hardcore for them as i am the sweet lavender or the creamy lavender so the scent appeal for um me was about a three out of five and the throw is also about a three out of five while I enjoyed this um, I, I do not think I would purchase this again like I said it's very it's primarily just an herbal lavender scent with a mild creaminess to it now this is one that I can melt all year long Holiday Latte, also from Super Tarts. Crispy gingerbread cookies dunked in a freshly brewed latte. That is exactly what I get from this scent. Gingerbread cookies and coffee. Oh, yes. Scent appeal is a 3.5 out of 5. And the throw is a 4.5 out of 5. 
if not a five out of five in my home. And I, I do actually have um, a band bag of that one. Everything's falling over, so we're just going to leave it like that, right? Hi. Um, next up is Jasper from Super Tarts. Jasper, the friendly ghost. Jasper, the friendly ghost. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is Satsuma and White Clouds. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. But I really, really do. The Satsuma is, it adds such a brightness. That bright citrus to the laundry actually works very well for me. This is really a very strong scent. Satsuma and White Clouds on their own are pretty dominant scents. So blended together, the throw and the strength was out of this world. Like 5.5 out of 5. <laughs> and the scent appeal was a 4 out of 5. I have, uh, I went through some Rosalie, which is Twisted Peppermint and Coconut Cream Pie. Um, this is really nice. And actually what I'm finding with Rosalie is when I, I throw this on at nighttime, um, the peppermint is just very soothing, especially um, on those nights where, um, you know, my sinuses are bothering me. And it soothes me to sleep. However, when I wake up, you have this gorgeous coconut cream pie scent just kind of lingering in the room and it's it's really nice so scent appeal to me is a four out of five the throw is a four out of five i would repurchase this i actually do have a backup and um this is really good y'all oh my gosh look guys i found another better homes and gardens um, this is the vetiver and lemon. I had one cube left in here. I threw it in the bathroom. Um, it was okay. Um, just not my jam. I don't know. I liked it at first when I first bought it, and then I guess my nose changed. I think it's the vetiver. I don't know. Um, I just didn't like it that much <laughs> anymore. So the scent appeal for me, well, initially when I first bought it, was probably about a 3.5 out of 5 it did go down to like a 2.5 to 3 out of 5 the throw was about a 3 out of 5 um, I wouldn't repurchase this one I'd buy like 10 of the lavender vanilla and now I'm sniffling because I just watched Sasha's video about the makeup artist sniffling so of course who starts sniffling to her video I do so the last clamshell I have is Raspberry Cream from Rebel Potions. Um, I am a brand rep for her, so she sent me this one in one of the bath bomb boxes that I received. This is really good. This smells exactly like, yeah, there's entertainment too. Ugh, it smells so good. It smells like the raspberry the raspberry cream savers from the lifesavers that they used to sell i don't even know if they make them or sell them anymore they were delicious i really really used to love those um and this is exactly what it smells like the scent appeal to me is a 4.5 out of 5 the throw i would give it a 3.5 out of 5 it um you definitely can smell it oh my lord Oh my lord. <laughs> you can definitely you can definitely smell the raspberry cream. Um the staying power, I mean, it, this lasted a good 6 to 8 hours in my room. I did change it out in the evening for my nighttime melt. It was still going. Um not as strong as in the beginning, but it was still going. So this one I would most definitely purchase. I'm still I've got two scent shots that I went through. Um, 
from a crafty barista strong cup of joe um i actually whoops i quartered this up and um spread this I quartered it up and I, I obviously I put it in four different warmers, two in my living room, two in my kitchen, and I blended it with a cube of the vanilla cookie crunch just to kind of tone down that super strong coffee scent and it it was amazing and it lasted over 12 hours. Um, normally I wouldn't keep my, um, straw, um, my coffee scents going literally through the night, but we were gone the whole day. And when we returned, um, that evening around 11 or 12 o'clock at night, it was still going like obviously throwing We were awake strong. the whole time. I felt awake the whole and, time. And, um, also from a crafty barista is Lavender Noel. This was a very nice lavender vanilla bean Noel scent. I used this in my bedroom. I put it on at night and I couldn't really smell it in the morning time, which is fine. Um, but while I did have it going the night before I went to bed, it was a very nice, creamy, sweet lavender. So the scent appeal for the lavender Noel, Aaliyah. The scent appeal for me was a 4.5 out of 5. The throw was a 2.5 to a 3 out of 5. This was not very strong. From Honey Bunnies Candles and Melts, Chocolate Covered Strawberry. I actually cut this sample I had in half and put this in my 15 watt plug-in warmer in the bathroom and this was actually really really nice the chocolate played very well with the strawberry you know i don't like chocolate scents but i really actually enjoyed this one and it lasted a long 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 time um granted we turn the plug-in warmer at night off i'm sorry we turn it off in the morning so this was going but at least nine hours every night and it's still each time, I would say, gave me two nights out of this. So about 18 hours, which is pretty damn good. Um, Rose Girls Dragon Fruit Sweet Tea. Um, this is a beautiful scent. Can you stop? This is a beautiful scent on cold. Um, the dragon fruit, you really, I'm not sure what a dragon fruit smells like, but I'm guessing it adds to the sweetness. And you definitely get the sweet tea scent on cold. However, on a warm, when this hit the warmer, I just, no. I, mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. I put this in my 24 watt mainstays in my bedroom. And, um... I, I couldn't stomach it. It was not a bad scent. It was just way too not for me. I can't even describe it. It was just no. Scent appeal to me, because I liked it on cold, I'll give it a 1 out of 5. The throw was like a 17 out of 5. I couldn't take it. I had to change it out. Change it out. From uh, the Country Scent Shack, I have some pumpkins in um, pumpkin log, pumpkin shaped tarts. I'm saying pumpkins. In pumpkin log, this was a very heavy pumpkin bakery with the cream cheese um, filling going throughout it. And that is exactly what this smelled like. It was really, really nice. The scent appeal was a 3.5 out of 5. The throw, while it was going, was a good 3.5 to 4 out of 5, but it did not last long. You're shaking my camera. Why don't you go downstairs? Please. <laughs> From Sassy Girl Aroma, I had a little chunk in Spearmint Noel. So I put this in my bedroom at night. This is a very nice 
um, vanilla mint type scent and um, it was okay I wouldn't buy this um, maybe from a different vendor I'm not sure I I think there's other minty scents that I like at bedtime I did enjoy it it just reminded me of like gum so the scent appeal for the spearmint Noel is a 2.5 to a 3 out of 5 and the throw was like a 2 out of 5 it was not very strong my fan is blowing my bags everywhere I said I wanted to get this done quickly I feel like I'm uh, 30 minutes in so honey bunnies candles and mouse this is another one I put in my bathroom it's called honey cakes um, I did not like this it just it smelled like a um, I'm not sure what it smelled like. It was very floral, and I just, I did not like it. I kept it going because I was just too lazy. Whoop, do you see that? I was too lazy to change it out, and it's in my, it's been in my bathroom for about four days, and it's still throwing. I'm like, uh-uh. It's in the plug-in warmer, so it only goes at nighttime. So, <laughs> we'll just keep it like that until I change it out. I actually turned it on so it can melt down so I can change it out now. Blueberry Flapjacks from Up North Creations. This is a very nice blueberry pancake type scent. There is no maple in this, which I appreciate. I love maple scents. I love therapy type scents. But I appreciate that the Blueberry Jacks Flapjacks does not have it because it's just the Flapjacks and the blueberries. Um, scent appeal, I would give this a 3.5 out of 5. The throw, I would give it a, a 2.5 to a 3 out of 5. <clears throat> Ooh, you guys. Vintage Road Candles, Roaring Twenties. Old Time Barbershop, which I'm not sure what those set notes are. Oud Wood, Sweet Tobacco, and Kentucky Bourbon. This scent is amazing. I mean, like, sexy man smoking a pipe tobacco in, like, an antique library, sitting in one of those antique leather chairs, just kind of looking all sexy and stuff with his uh, tumbler of Kentucky bourbon in his cup on the rocks. Yummy. Ooh. Very good. I I never thought I would like be this into like these manly scents, but I don't know, Sarah. What are you doing to me? I've got Mr. Gosling. Now I've got like library man in the den with his glass of bourbon and his pipe tobacco. Maybe a handlebar mustache. I don't know. It was a thing back then, right? Somebody found it sexy. <laughs> The throw was a 4 out of 5, and I mean, this, y'all, had staying power. It lingered, and I was just like, mm, nom, 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 nom. You could just eat a man up like that. It's dangerous. <clears throat> Next from Vintage Road Candles is John's Diner, Maple Pancakes, Pecan Waffles, Vanilla caramel coffee, cinnamon rolls, and breakfast meats. This smelled like walking into a diner. Like, it, it legit smelled like walking into a diner. You've got the the maple going first because that is just a scent hog. You'd be laughing your asses off right now if you can see, like, my arms going. It's It's funny. So the maple comes first. You get small bits of coffee. And it's just like breakfast. Warm breakfast. It's it's really good. The scent appeal to me is a 4 out of 5. The throw was a 3.5 out of 5. And it, this also had lingering power. I find anything with most maple scents tend to linger. <clears throat> Ooh, Mermaid Kisses from Vintage Road Candles. Saltwater Taffy Sea Breezes. Breeze. Water. <laughs> Do any of you like Dane Cook when he talks about the, the tree? Um. <laughs> oh, my 
God. He has a skit talking about, um, you know, atheists and how they think if you turn into the earth after you die and you come back as like a beautiful tree flowing in the breezes. And that's how he said breezes. All right. I'm distracted now. Look at me. Saltwater taffy, sea breeze, water ferns, light tropical fruits, and alien princess type. I have no idea what alien princess type smells like, but this scent is amazing. Mm, 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 mm. I wish it was a tiny bit stronger. I feel if it was a lot more stronger, though, it might become one of those obnoxious scents. But this is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I loved it. Um, mm -hmm. Y'all got kissed by mermaid, guys. Uh, <laughs> scent appeal to me was a 4.5 out of 5. The th throw is a 3 out of 5. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Oh, my God. I can't stop sniffling. All right. I only got two more and then we're done. So from the bathing garden, I had a sample in Bohemian Solstice. This was really nice. I have no idea what's in it, but it was good. Yeah, I I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't pick it out. But there's something maybe mental, mentally, in there, like a eucalyptus or something. But it was nice. This beautiful, beautiful scent. If I had the opportunity to purchase this again, I would. And last but not least, L3 Waxy Wonders Candy Cane Cupcakes Cotton Candy Frosted Cuppy Cakes. Um, this was nice. Um, you get the peppermint. You get the sweet bakery. I just wish it was stronger. So, scent appeal to me was a 3 out of 5, but the throw was unfortunately only about a 2. And that is what I went through for the last, I'm sorry, for the first two weeks of September. Um, I thought it wasn't much, but I guess I can see I did actually go through quite a bit. So I appreciate you guys for watching. If you are a newcomer to the channel and you like what you see, hit subscribe, like this video, and also go back to one video to my previous video. If you see this before I close it, I ha am having a giveaway for a $20 gift card to my favorite vendor shop which is vintage road candles again go back one video to my giveaway video all you have to do is comment enter me there's only one catch you do have to be a subscriber so just hit subscribe comment enter me on that video and you will have a chance to um win a $20 gift card to Vintage Road Candles. I mean, that's pretty much minimal work. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.